I started at CCNB uh, working for MITTC in 2008. So MITTC is uh, short for the Metal Innovation and Technology Transfer Center. I came from uh, various backgrounds in manufacturing. Uh, it could have been uh, high-end optics, high-precision optics, uh, military, aerospace. And uh, once I moved back to New Brunswick in 2008, uh, one of my old instructors approached me and asked me if uh, I wouldn't be interested into helping and uh, bring the, the research aspect at CCMB to the next level. Uh, that could be through uh, uh, putting together a concept, automating a process, uh, building a prototype, testing prototypes, uh, putting together a, pro uh, a process, and we do uh, offer this at, a, at an Atlantic a Canadian level. On est dans le nord-ouest euh, du Nouveau-Brunswick, à Saint-François, euh, dans l'établissement de, des industries Corrigo. Derrière moi, c'est une malteuse qui a été euh, conçue et euh, l'ingénierie conçue et fabriquée au CCNB à Bathurst. Cette ferme, c'est à, à date depuis 1893. Euh, je suis la cinquième génération. En 2012, tant que mon père m'a transféré la compagnie, euh, on avait un volume de sarrasin qu'on passait, puis j'étais pas capable, c'était pas viable selon moi, juste avec le volume qu'on passait. Puis c'est à partir de là que j'ai fait des recherches pour euh, développer euh, un mal, puis une bière qui est sans gluten en passant. Tant que j'ai fait l'approche avec le CNB, euh, c'était vraiment pour faire la construction de la machine. Je pensais pas au niveau de technologie qu'on qu serait rendu jusque là. Le défi euh, dans le projet a été euh, l'automatisation euh, et simplement la grosseur de la machine ou l'ampleur de la machine. Et euh, ça allait évoluer d'une de, 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 machine qui avait une capacité de 750 livres à une machine qui a une capacité de 2000 livres que vous voyez présentement derrière moi. Puis dépendamment de la recette, on peut y donner une cuisson pour euh, donner différentes variétés du grain. Hein, C'est surtout dépendant de quelle sorte de, de bière qu'on veut faire, si on veut faire une blonde ou qu'on veut faire une rousse ou une stout. Fait que ce qui est, qu est beau avec euh, la malteuse, on est capable de la contrôler à distance. Et pourquoi c'est important pour toi d'avoir cette flexibilité-là? Fait que euh, tant que je suis en maison, je peux être à l'extérieur. Si on a une alarme ou j'ai besoin de faire des changements sur des paramètres, j'ai juste besoin de rentrer sur mon téléphone, on, on peut la gérer à distance. Ça a été un, un beau cadeau euh, ajouté à, à la fin du projet. un beau cadeau qu'on a eu à la fin du projet, oui. Parfait. I love helping people. And uh, this puts me in a great position to help the Atlantic industry. A pitch I like to do is these companies, they're busy making money and they need that cash flow to stay afloat. And it's hard for them to put money aside for, uh, or, or I would say even time aside in innovation. That's where we shine. We love to automate, we love to fabricate, we love to build prototypes. That's where we can come in. Leading Edge Geomatics is a remote sensing company. We have cameras and lasers mounted in airplanes which go out and make maps at the surface of the earth, the height of the trees, the, the height of the power lines. We're able to scan the whole world into 3D. Every aircraft is unique and it's, it's like a hand-built boutique um, experience for every aircraft as we, as we assemble the metal, have it tested and installed to the aircraft. So you, you can imagine having 25 different planes and 25 different technologies and you have, do the math, you have a, a, a variety of different the interfaces between different technologies and different planes. By engaging with CCNB, we're looking to turn that into a more of an assembly line process where we have engineered once for one aircraft and then we can recycle that work across the rest of the fleet. Uh, one of the components was a, uh, a plate that acts as an interface between a variety of different technologies that will be uh, fastened onto the plane. How this project got started was NBIF, you know, listening to us, hearing where our pain points were, and then helping us engage with somebody, with, with you know, a, a matched firm in the project that could help us. This is the Cessna 206, so this will be the second aircraft that will go through the program that we're working together on. So we'll be taking all the engineering that was used as part of the Navajo um, to install the bathymetric LiDAR into that aircraft. Right. Because this, this, this plate here, the goal will be to have one plate that's the same between both of those two aircraft. Could, could the plate ever change from one plane to another, or essentially is it always going to be the same plate? Um, our goal is to have the same plate in every aircraft. Yeah, yeah, in every single airplane. So, so we'll, we'll really be at a, like a Lego state here shortly, where everything can just be disconnected from one airplane, put in the other one, all the engineering and the load analysis, already having been done once. 
For us, it's a game changer. It really changes the way we've done business. We now have a system in that aircraft which allows us to install any sensor in the world. It's not a redo every time. So we are exporting that project today. And we are doing work elsewhere, and you know the revenue comes back to New Brunswick. My vision of the center, I can see ourselves being the capacity for prototyping and mechanical design in the Atlantic provinces. And uh, every day is, is, a, is a different challenge, but we all love challenges. And, if, and honestly, if it wasn't for my team, uh, they, they are the backbone to the center.